Max for you. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title of this video today, we're doing our winter nighttime routine. I don't think I've ever done like a proper routine video and I kind of want to start doing them seasonally because I think it's important to share like how like one adapts to weather and right now in St. John's the weather's been kind of weird. We've had days in February where it's been like 16 degrees and Shauna and I could, uh, sorry January, and Shauna and I could road trip to Collier's and then we've had weekends where it feels like minus 22 with the wind chill. So it's just been kind of strange. So I wanted to share with you what happens to me when I come home from work during the week, um, my nighttime routine, so to speak. So once we get home, it's usually like 5, 30, 6 o'clock, depending. And I, the first thing I do when I get through the door is put this little one out for a P E P. I I just realized this doesn't matter if I spell it or not because she'll still know the words. Um, anyway, so she goes to the bathroom and then we come in and I usually chase her around the house and make sure she has her dinner and all that kind of stuff. And once Lola's fed and taken care of, I pack my gym bag. Um, I did do a What's in My Gym Bag video, so just click the little eye above my head so you can see what I have there so I don't need to get into depth in this video. Um, so I pack my gym bag and I get changed. I will put my gym clothes on at home so I don't have to change at the gym. And then I go to the gym and I go work out and then I will shower at the gym and I will get changed there. So I usually just bring like my lazy people clothes to the gym after that, so like my sweatpants and a hoodie or whatever. Um, and my workout's done, I go to the gym. If I have errands to run, I will run them then. So if I need to pick up groceries, like do a Costco run on Thursday, or if I need to go to Walmart to pick up odds and ends, I will do it right after the gym because I am out. That way I don't have to come home and go out again, basically. So once all of that is done, I come home and I make dinner. Now, I am a prep on the weekends kind of girl, so I make all of my lunches for the week, and I will chop all of my veggies for the week because I like to just have like something light for dinner because I will have big lunches during the day, so like all the like, cooked chicken and vegetables and stuff and have that during lunch hour. So for dinner, I come home and I want to eat a salad. I feel like a lighter supper has actually been a way better balance for me. So I will usually just take out all of the containers that have all the chopped veggies that I want for my salad, toss them all in a bowl, takes 30 seconds, bam, got dinner made. So that's lovely. And then with my dinner, I've been drinking this tea. This is the Thin Tea 14 Day Fat Burn Blend. Um, I have tried the detox tea and I really enjoyed it. So this one allegedly speeds up your metabolism, suppresses your appetite, and burns fat. So since we're going to the gym and working out and all that stuff, I figured why not try it. They do have a meal plan online. I don't follow the meal plan just because I, I'm not in the business of like trying to completely lose weight. But it has been really fun to be using this detox blend and the fat burn blend because I did find the detox blend worked as it filled me up at breakfast time. So I'm assuming this is gonna do the same thing for Meal time, I haven't started drinking it yet. I literally start today. Today is day one of that 14 day thing. I finished the detox blend yesterday. So anyway, we're gonna get into that and it'll be fun and I'm gonna write a blog post on my final thoughts on it. But so far, so good. I've been enjoying the whole thin tea experience. So we have dinner. I usually eat dinner in front of the TV where I either catch up on my YouTube for the day or my recorded TV. So it's usually the talk. I usually always watch the talk. I feel like I just love watching the ladies and it's a lot of fun. Um, and then I probably stay on the couch a little longer than I should because I'll squeeze in an episode or two of Full House and so taking it off Netflix February 15th. So if you want to watch it in your Canada, binge it now because you're going to lose it forever. Um, and then after all that's done, I make my way to the kitchen, I do the dishes, I clean up from the day. Uh, if the dishwasher needs to be ran, I do that or if it needs to be unloaded, I'll do that. All of that gets done right away. And then my evening is mine, so that brings us to about 7.30, and at 7.30 I usually get another cup of tea because I'm trying to cut out coffee. Coffee is my favorite thing in the world, and I used to drink 8 to 10 cups a day, so I was up all of the time. Um, I'm still not sleeping 100%, but at least I'm getting like three and a half, four hours sleep, which is so much better than none at all. So I've been drinking a rooibos tea in the evening time. This is the Birthday Cake Tea by David's Tea. This is my second tin. Um, a, it's cheaper to buy it in a tin like this. You get 10% off and you get a reusable tin and then you get a discount every single time you bring the tin in. Now personally I find it a pain in the butt to like scoop up the loose tea into a tea bag. I know that's stupid, but I just like to be grabbing and going. So my second tin, what I've done is I fill up tea bags, just go on a binge and prep them all, and I put all the loose tea in a tin in the tea bags and then stuff them all in the tin. So I just grab a tea bag and go. It just makes for simplicity. 
and it makes it easier for like getting all that kind of stuff done so that is ready for me to have at 7 30. usually then i make my way to my bedroom where i curl up in front of my compobulator and i edit i usually edit for you guys or i edit a thumbnail or i write a description or i do something youtube related or work on a blog post Sometimes I have to work from home, but generally I try to do all of the YouTube things in the evening. Once that's done, I kind of reassess the situation, and if it's close to 9 or 9.30, I kind of dawdle into the bedroom, not the bedroom, I kind of dawdle into the bathroom, where I wash my face, I remove my makeup using the Sephora Black Magic Cloths, then I use the Clarisonic, and I use my uh, First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cleanser. So once all of my makeup's off my face, I moisturize using my First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream and I tone with the Indigenous Land and Sea Healing Mist. And then I will dawdle onto the bedroom again where I take all the pillows off the bed, I get the blankets done uh, down and then I will put all that for pee and then we hop in bed. Once I'm in the bed, we'll either play a game on my phone for a little while. Right now I'm loving Restaurant Story. Um, and if I'm not playing a game, I'm watching more YouTube. Because apparently it doesn't matter how many hours a day you stay up you will always need to watch videos um, right now I need to watch Nicole Chantel's vlog so if you guys haven't um, subscribed to Nicole please do so she's a good friend and she's a whole lot of fun and I love watching her vlogs so I'm watching that one currently um, and then I usually go to sleep I go to sleep around 10 30 quarter to 11 or try to go to sleep around 10 30 quarter to 11 and, um, and that's my night routine. I don't do much after that. I'm a pretty chill being in the evening time because my days are so like packed at work. They're super busy, so I like to have as much of a low-key evening as humanly possible. And I do my best to keep that pretty consistent because I know I need it. So like, I have a very set schedule. Like Wednesday night is laundry night. Thursday night is grocery shopping night. Friday night is washing floors, cleaning house, while watching Blue Bloods evening. So like I try to keep it that way on purpose so my weekends are free for fun. Um, so with all that being said, you guys, leave me a comment down below telling me what you do in the nighttime to keep on track and stay organized. If you're like the sole provider like me and has the full-time job that makes the money, that pays the bills, and does YouTube on the side or whatever, so I technically feel like I have two jobs sometimes. If you do all of that and you still have time to be a mommy and have fun and do all of those things, leave me a comment on what you do to stay organized and stay focused and how to keep everything in order because it can be a task and a half sometimes. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Hit subscribe, turn on notifications so you get notified when I post new content, and I will see you all in my next video. I love you guys. Bye!